Just a moment. All right. Um, as it is, uh, we are going. We are continuing. So let me ask the technician yeah, to help me out. Mm. All right. They are saying that now, uh, if I give you a, a simple task, né? here, what is this? What is this? Tell me the answer. How do we call it? Uh, individual one and individual two. Which one is a male? Send it. Send it. Send it the, the 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 answers. Answers. How do you call this diagram? Yes. And then send me the, the, the answers here on, on, on your description. How do you call this diagram? And then which one is a male and which one is a female? Send me, send me, and then I see so that I can, uh, yes, talk about it. Uh -huh. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the answer, I'm waiting for the answer. Yes, I'm waiting for the answer. Who is the first person to answer? Who is the first person to answer? Where are you? Where are you? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Which individual is one? Sorry. Which individual is a male? Which individual is a female? And then how do we call this diagram? Just tell me the answer you know. Just the answer you know. Which one is that is 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 individual, individual? Uh -huh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I don't see you. I need to see you. Uh huh. Are you there, Lawrence? Where are you? Okay. Femelo, where are you? Where 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 is the answer? Which individual is male? Which individual is a female? And then, how do you call this diagram? Someone is... Yes, how do you call this diagram? How do you call this diagram? Okay. Uh, Femelo is saying that uh, individual one is a male. And uh, two is a female. Good. Yes. Individual one is a male. Why? Because individual one is having X and Y. Yes? Yes, having X and Y. How do I know that this is X and Y? This one is um, long and this one is short. Well, this one is long and this one is long. Therefore, remember we know that one is... Let me show you here. X and Y. X is longer than, bigger than Y. Therefore, if the twin third pair is having the same size of chromosome, then we shall say that is a female. And if it has different sizes of chromosomes, we're going to say that is a male. Why? Because X is, remember XX, XX is a female. XY is the what? Is a male. So uh, this is a female, this is a female, and then this is a male. Yes. Thank you, uh, Femelo. Ne? Femelo. Yes. Femelo, send me, send me uh, a message on 0848-331738. Yes. I'll send you a book. I'll send you a book. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that you get a distinction. Thank you very much for your 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 what? Your contribution. All right. Uh -huh. They are saying that uh identify the type of chromosome. Okay, how do you call this? We call it a karyotype. Karyotype. When you say the word karyo in science, it means a nucleus. So when you say karyo, karyo type, which type of nucleus do you have? Which type of nucleus do you have? How are these uh, 
arranged. Yes. So we are saying that. Thank you very much. Um, this is a karyotype. This is a karyotype for a female. And this is a karyotype for a male. Uh -uh. This is a karyotype for a male because X and Y. And this is a karyotype for female because of X and X. So identify the chromosome number the 1 to 2, 22. Look, this booklet is, 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 is indicating this exactly. Because there is a 2019, they brought this question of description of a karyotype. Human cells are made up of 46 chromosomes arranged in pairs. Each pair is different from each other by shape, size, and genetic composition from pair number 1 to pair number 22 is called orosum. There is no question you're going to be asked in life science anywhere and can't be answered by this distinction material. Tell your teacher can think about any question which is supposed to be examination guideline and then um, can't be answered by this question. Okay, let's see. Identify the, the chromosome number 1 to 22. Here, I mentioned it very well in this book. I said that 1 to 22 is called orosome. So the answer is orosomes. We call those chromosomes orosomes. Uh -huh. Question 2. They're saying that each pair shown in uh, each pair of Sorry, each of this pair shown is a homologous pair of chromosome. <laughs> state the original, state the origin of each chromosome in homologous pair during the zygote formation. Where do they come from? This book said it. Ne? Uh, it said it. We said it here. We said it here. Here. Yeah. Not here. Yeah, one chromosome will come from a sperm, one chromosome will come from the ovum, and then you form a zygote. A sperm does not come from a lady, it comes from a female, so this is coming from the maternal line. And then it comes from the, uh, uh, comes from the uh, paternal line, and then this comes from the maternal line. And then you form a zygote. That's what they're asking you here. They say, state the origin of each chromosome in the homologous pair during the zygote formation. Where do they come from? From the sperm of the father, and then another one, and another one from the ovum of the mother. I think I'm clear. List three characteristics of chromosomes in homologous pair uh, have in common. List three. I'm not the one who said this paper. No, this is the national exam exams. I mentioned it here. If you read this book, you will find the answers what you need. Describe how do we call this? How do we call this? How do they what do they have in common? Here is the answer. I mentioned it here. Say so that these are uh, pairs form by shape. They have the same shape. That's number one. They have the same size. That's number two. And they have the same genetic composition. This is in terms of locus. The position where these genes are found. Yes. That is basically what we need from you. The same genetic composition. Same genetic composition. So... Where are they found? The locus, the position, because the locus means the position of a chromosome. If there are many, we call them loci or loci. I don't know whether they call it loci or loci. Yes, loci. So the same genetic composition. I think I'm, 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 I'm clear there. I'm clear. I'm, 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 I'm clear there. Okay. Now let's go to. The next one, the next question. Explain one observable. What you see, not what you studied or functional. No, 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 no. When they ask you observable, they are looking for the structure, structure, futures. One observable reason why two individuals are not identical twins. Why are they not identical twins? Why are these? 
Guys, don't forget that identical twins come from one egg. This egg, it has a nucleus, remember? Nucleus, jelly-like layer, and then the uh, nucleus, and then the... Why are these karyotypes are known for identical twins? This egg must be fertilized by one sperm. By one sperm. So this sperm can either be X or it can be Y. So if it is X, then automatically this sperm must split this egg into two. Into two. So that now you have two individual, individual one and individual two. So if it was X, they are, they are going to be girls. If it was Y, they are going to be boys. So now, there is no identical twin. We don't have any identical twins in this world. And these identical twins are of different sex. Because two sperms cannot fertilize one of them. No. Impossible. The same way one sperm can't fertilize two of them then two sperms cannot fertilize one of them. Yes. So, because this is male and this is a female, therefore they can't be identical twin. Give one observable reason. It's because chromosome pair 23 has X and Y in individual 1 and X and X in individual 2. Yes. That is the perfect answer you can give. So, why? Because chromosomes cannot... Uh, individuals cannot be of the same sex. Cannot be of the same sex. So now this is another karyotype. Yes, still is a human karyotype. Is it a human karyotype? Uh, we shall see.